This video covers the review sheet for the advanced functions test on probability. Number one says zip codes in North Carolina must start with a 2 and then have a 7, 8, or 9 as the second digit. The three remaining digits can be any single digit. Using this plan, how many different zip codes are possible? Remember, our zip code is five digits. For example, the one at Highland is uh, 28052. So in North Carolina, the first digit has to be a 2. Now that means there's only one possibility for that first spot. We're using the fundamental counting principle here. So there's only one possibility for that first slot. Now that second slot, according to the problem, can be a 7, an 8, or a 9. That means there are three different possibilities for the second slot. So in the second slot, we'll put a 3. And then the three remaining can be any single digit. Now be careful here. There's actually ten digits that you can be, because one through nine makes nine, and then you can also be a zero, so that makes ten. For the fundamental counting principle, you just set this up and then multiply these together. So you should get 3,000 as your answer. Okay, moving on to number two says you have five bands to choose from to make a schedule for a radio show. If there are only three spots for bands in the radio show, how many different ways could you arrange the five bands? Anytime we're talking about a schedule or a show or any kind of performance, order matters. So one way we can approach this is with permutations, because we're trying to arrange three bands out of five. So we can do 5P3 using our calculator we get 5 math probability NPR 3 and we get 60. Another way to do this is using the same process we did in number one which is the fundamental counting principle. We have three spots that we can put a band into. Well when we're choosing who to put first we have five choices. We can choose any one of the five bands. But once we've picked that first spot we only have four bands to choose from to put in the second one, and then only three bands to choose in for the third one. So if you multiply those together, you also get 60. So you can do that one either way. Number three, if a thumbtack is dropped, the probability of its landing up is 3 tenths. Mrs. Davenport drops 10 tacks while putting up a weekly assignment sheet on the bulletin board. Find the probability that exactly five of the tacks will land point up. So anytime you've got two choices, where either something lands up or down, something lands heads or tails, success or failure, you need to think in terms of the binomial probability. Think about it, bi means two, binomial. So we've got two possibilities here, it lands up or down. So use the formula NCR times P raised to the R times Q raised to the N minus R. We have four variables we've got to fill in. N is the number of trials. Since 10 tacks were dropped, that's 10 trials. R is the number of successes. Well, we're just going to, for the sake of this problem, call landing up success, and we're trying to figure out the probability of five of those landing up. P is the probability of success, and in this case, since we're saying landing up is success, that's 3 tenths. I'm getting that from right here. Oops, sorry, a little off alignment there. So 3 tenths right there. All right, now the probability of failure then would be our Q, and that's going to be 7 tenths, because these two right here should add up to 1, because you either succeed or you don't, so that should add up to 1 or 100 percent, if you want to think about it that way. So now we plug this in, we get 10 C5 times 3 tenths to the fifth times 7 tenths to the 10 minus 5. So I can plug this in. Um, I'm going to get 10 C5 times 3 over 10 raised to the fifth times 7 over 10 raised to the fifth. So we get point one. Zero 02, or if we round to the nearest, it'd be point one zero 0.103. Number four, if you own 12 stocks, what is the probability of only two of them going down 
given that the probability of going up is 4 sevenths. So same process here, we're doing binomial probability. We're comparing success, a number of successes versus a number of failures. We have 12 stocks, so that's our number of trials, that's our N. Um, now you've got two choices here. I'll do it both ways so you can see both. You need to either call going up success or going down success. You can do either one. So since it talks about two of them going down, then for right now, let's call success going down. It doesn't have to match up with what you'd really consider success in the real life. It's just the desired result. So we only want two to go down, so we'll say that R is two. And we know that the probability of going down would be three over seven. Now this is where you have to be careful. I define success as going down, and I want two of them to go down, but the probability they gave me was the probability of going up. So if the probability of going up is four sevenths, the probability of going down is three sevenths. So my probability of going up is actually my failure rate, my Q, because I'm calling success going down. So then I get 12 C2 times 3 sevenths raised to the second times 4 sevenths raised to the 12 minus 2. I'm not going to plug that in. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that the answer should be 0 0.045. Now you can also do this by defining going up as success. Now if we only want two to go down, then that would mean we want 10 of them to go up. And the probability of going up is 4 sevenths. The probability of going down is 3 sevenths. So these have to match. I wanted two of them to go down, and the probability of going down is 3 sevenths. I wanted 10 to go up, the probability of going up is 4 sevenths. So this time I would set it up as 12 C10 times 4 sevenths raised to the 10th times 3 sevenths raised to the 12 minus 10. And that will also give you 0 0.045. Number five, of 20 possible movies you plan to take six with you on vacation, how many different collections of six movies can you take? So we're talking here about different amounts of arrangements or different way to choose things out of a group. So in this case, order would not matter. It doesn't matter what order I choose the movies in. The same six get taken no matter which order I pick them in. So this is an example of a combination. So we should use 20 C6. So if we plug that in, 20 math C6, we get 38,760 choices. Who knew you had so many choices when you're going on vacation and picking movies? Okay, in a production of The Great Gatsby, seven actors are trying out for the roles of Jay and Tom. In how many ways can the director cast these two roles? Okay, here the order very much matters. You have a different job if you get the, the part of Jay versus if you get the part of Tom. So the order very much matters here. This would be a permutation. So out of a group of seven, we're going to be choosing two people, and the order matters. So we do a permutation. Uh, sorry, I said permutation, then didn't write it. Um, 7P2. So we do 7 permutation 2. So there are 42 different ways that they can choose to arrange these actors. Okay, if you randomly select a card from a normal 52 card deck, what is the probability of selecting a 10? or a face card. When you see the word or, that means plus. And as far as probability is concerned, or is plus and is multiply. Or is plus and is multiply. So first we figure out the probability of selecting a 10. There are four, ten, four tens in a 52 card deck. So there's a four out of 52 chance of selecting a 10. Okay, or a face card. A face card is a jack, queen, or king. Well, there's three of those in each suit, jack, queen, king. So we do three times four, or you could say there's four jacks, four queens, four kings, and get 12 that way as well. So there's 12 out of 52 of getting a face card. So this is the probability of getting a 10. This is the probability of getting a face card. And so we add those two together, and we get 16 over 52. Or if you want to reduce, that's four over 13. You could also give the decimal there if you want. 
Okay, well I'm going to put the rest of this on part two, so please check out video part two for the rest of the questions.